Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and welcome back to day two of my Odin's Eye Makeup Palette series. Today we're going to be utilizing the Fred Hall Palette to create this look that we have here. Really cute, really easy, and in this tutorial I'm showing you guys how to create a cut crease. Super easy, easy for beginners, and I'm sure that you guys are going to be able to recreate it super easy as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The Freha palette is actually really pretty. It's like this beautiful rosy toned palette. It's actually pretty bright in some aspects and pretty dull in some. Dull, not in a bad way. It has no negative connotation, but dull in the way where it's a little bit more wearable, which I do appreciate. It's not just super intense and bright. So with this, I am thinking of doing like an easy uh, graphic eye. I don't really know how to explain it. I can only just show it. So. For the outline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Shiseido Kajal Eyeliner and this one is the shade Azuki Red. First and foremost, I am going to smooth out the concealer that's on my eyes. Just taking a big, dense brush to do this. Now, because this is more of like a chubby pencil, it's easy to just draw the line. You can use this with any type of eyeliner you want but I just want to do this to get the shape down so I am going to go right on top of my crease in this cat eye shape. It's a pretty rough sketch, but you guys get the idea. I feel like when I am doing any type of eyeliner, I feel like it's a lot easier to start with the wing first just because you're able to maneuver your uh, mirror and just see if it's even or not. And then from there, I will just drag it up and around into the crease. It's a pretty rough sketch, but that's exactly what we want. We want this to be the base, and this is going to allow everything to blend in a lot easier, and it's going to actually add all of the pigment underneath the eyeshadows, just so that it's easier to cling to, and so when you start blending, it doesn't get all over the place. So we're gonna go into the palette here, and I'm thinking I wanna actually go pretty intense. I'm either eyeing this red down here or this like burgundy up there. Um, I think I want to start with the burgundy and if I want it to be more red then I'll go in with this. I'm going to take the burgundy on a pencil brush here and we're just going to go right on top of the eyeliner. Nothing crazy. For this past week my boyfriend and I have been watching the entire Harry Potter series and dare I say that I never understood the hype behind Harry Potter as a kid, but now that I watched it as an adult, like through and through every single movie back to back, I enjoy it. I don't know why it took me this long to enjoy Harry Potter, but I get it. I get the hype. I really fell in love with the characters and I actually understood the storyline this time. Crazy. I actually really do like this tone, so I don't think I'm actually going to go into the red. I'm going to take a very small blending brush, and I think I'm going to take this muted nude here called Bon, and I'm just going to tap that on the tip of my brush. And we are going to blend that right on top of the shade that we just applied. This is just so that we can get a nice smoky blend into the crease. And you want to just focus this on the top line, not the bottom. We're just doing the top just so that there is mm, a lot of color on the eyelid as opposed to just bringing the eye down. But while we were watching Harry Potter, why was Draco crying in every single movie? I did not even realize that he did until I watched it. Like, can somebody explain? I know that's not really a spoiler, but why was he crying? He was always like, like, pack it up, toughen up a little bit. You're crying in every movie, sir. So this is what it looks like. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We only use two shades so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease just a little bit. So I'm going to use a little bit of my Fenty concealer and I'm going to apply this on the area of my eyelid that is bare. And I don't really need a whole bunch and I'm going to transition into my concealer brush. Just a flat brush. We're going to pat it all over the eyelid and then starting from the inner corner we are going to go in a half moon shape. And then the top line is actually going to be a lot longer like this so that it goes in at an angle and that's exactly what I'm looking for. I don't want it to be a harsh vertical cut. I just want it to have like a nice cat eye gradient. 
So now that when I open my eyes, this is what it looks like. You could still see my eyelid, which is what I want. So I'm thinking of doing like a gradient of three colors on the concealer just to be a little fun, a little festive. So in the outer corner, I'm really thinking of doing this shimmery red. In the middle, I might wanna do a duochrome. So we might go into this one. And then in the inner corner, I'm thinking of doing another duochrome. This one just looks super bright. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the same brush for this method. So we're just gonna take another concealer brush like this. Start out on the outer corner, and once you just tap it in, it'll automatically cling to the concealer. So just keep that in mind. If you don't do the concealer, it's going to look a little bit more smoky and not super defined. This type of shade used to be like my everyday shade in high school, my senior year of high school. If I didn't have a shimmery maroon in my collection or on my eyes, like who was I? I think I was the queen of maroon smoky eyes, which is why I don't really do them as much anymore because I think I just did them too much at one point in my life. This duochrome is my favorite type of duochrome where it's like red to blue, has a little bit of brown in there. This is my absolute favorite. Okay, now we're gonna go into the lightest shade, into the inner third. This is looking really pretty. I love these shades together. Yup. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Even though we did three shades, it's not super intense. It's just perfect. We're gonna go ahead and finish off the lower lash line. So we're gonna go back into the Shiseido eyeliner and we are going to apply this on our waterline and lash line. So as you see, I brought it down a little lower. I do have fallout on my face, but I'm going to wipe it off after I finish eyeshadow in general. We're going to go back into that initial darkened brown, that darkened brown red, and we're going to take that on the pencil brush to just blend it on the bottom here. Then we're going to take the lighter brown, blend it on the bottom. And why not? Let's do a couple of blending strokes down here with the blending brush just to make sure everything is smooth. And then let's dust off all this fall. I have all of the powder on my face, so when you dust it off, you don't really get any streaks, as you see. I'm going to take a break from my eyeshadow and just work on my face. So right now I'm just taking my Fenty Beauty bronzer with my Elysium Yori brush and just tossing that on the perimeters of my face. And don't forget the nose. I am very pale today. Wow. For blush, I have this one from Essence. This is called Befitting, and this is just called The Blush. Mmm, this shade is nice. It's like, a, it's like a dusty shade, but on the cheeks, it looks quite nice, quite natural. It's not um, too cool on me, which is very nice, very surprising. Wow. Then I'm using the Odin's Eye Highlighter. This is their newest addition into their line. This is the Norns Mesmerizer Highlighter. And is that just what it's called, Mesmerizer? Yeah, I think, I think that's what it's called. And it looks like this, it's marbled, and it looks really pretty. There's some gold, there's some white, there's a little bit of pink in there. Um, so I definitely want to use that into my inner corner, brow bone, and cheeks. It's quite glittery from the gold. I believe the gold has a little bit of overspray, which is fine. I just have to use it a little bit more, but it's cute for what it is. Really nice. I didn't expect it to look like this at all. I expected it to actually look a little bit more pink, but this is nice. This is really pretty. I'm gonna toss this into the inner corner here just to brighten it a little bit. And then let's not neglect the brow bone here. Yes, yes, looking good, looking good. I'm only gonna do a very little bit of eyeliner for my eyes, so I'm using the Touch and Soul Nonstop Eyeliner. You can use my code That's All Yen at checkout. And I'm going to actually take this into the inner corner just because of my eye shape. Whenever I leave that area blank for my false lashes, I just feel like it doesn't look good. I feel like out of a lot of my eyeliners, this one definitely gives me one of the thinnest lines on my eyes. And that's exactly what I want. Nothing too intense, just something very minimal, something that's a base for the fake eyelashes. Mascara is the Dull Face Beauty Fast Faux Mascara. 
This mascara is so bomb. I'm only doing a light coat, but if I do a heavy coat, oh my God, my lashes literally look like they're fake. It's crazy. And then while we're here, we're gonna do the bottom lashes as well. So I'm just gonna look up into my mirror to get the lower lashes. I love how there's a point to the wand so that I could really maneuver it onto my lower lashes because I have really small eyes and a lot of the times like mascaras with big wands I'm unable to really get a nice coat but with this one it has a beautiful taper to it which makes application so easy. I'm doing a natural pair of eyelashes today. Crazy! I know, I rarely do natural lashes. But this one is by Velour Lashes. It's their style mini me. It's part of their effortless collection where you don't even have to trim them. So if you have small eyes like me, this collection is a dream come true. Also, I do have a discount code with them. This lash is super pretty. It adds just the very perfect amount of spice to the look. You still are able to see the cut crease, but in this outer corner, it just looks super intense and nice. Now for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Odin's Eye Lipstick in the shade Brown Rose. Super pretty. Mm, she's a little intense. I didn't do a good job of applying it because I think I'm gonna go in with a nude lip liner to just tone it down a little bit. This one's from ColourPop, it's curvy. Sometimes when reds are too intense, I go in with a nude lip liner just to tone it down. And there you have it, you guys. This is day two of my Odin's Eye Palette series. I'm really excited to get into day three because as I said in day one's video, I said that I wanted to go from more natural, casual, and build my way up to something a little bit more intense. So I'm really excited to do that for you guys. So I hope you guys all really enjoy this look. If you guys decide to recreate it, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see. I rarely get tagged in photos, so I would, I would really appreciate it. It would make my day so much. Much. So as always, I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out Girl Scouts!